don't ask any questions just keep watching hey y'all it's joris so it has come to my realization that those extraordinarily bizarre mukbangs are still happening just when we thought we've seen the craziest mukbangs out there the internet says mm -mm. Here's another one. Fair warning for those of you who have sensitive stomachs. If you are thinking about eating while watching this video, I suggest not to. In fact, don't even watch the video if you've just eaten. I'm gonna need you to fast for seven days and seven nights before you can comfortably watch this video. You will be seeing the food for a second time, sitting in your lap, regurgitated, watching the same video as you. So. <laughs> Let's start with Miss Deborah here, who is eating live maggots. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Wow, she chews very loudly. Hey, focus. Is that a whole thing of cheese? Whoa, she's taking some big bites. Okay, Brussels sprouts. Those, those are fresh from the ground. Hey, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Can you eat avocados with the skin? I'm not an avid avocado eater. It's not really my favorite um, thing. <laughs> the texture throws me off. But I don't think you are supposed to be eating it with the skin. Uh, Deborah, like she honestly gives me heart palpitations. So a lot of us can argue that she didn't actually consume the maggot. She just put it in her mouth and pretended to eat it. That's not even like the biggest issue. It's I wouldn't even want it anywhere near my mouth. <laughs> Personally. I know for a lot of people that's probably like a dish that's common for them. Like aren't the maggots already dead by the time you eat them? Let me let me, let's go back to the video. Let's let's see. Let's see. Nope, they're moving. They're alive and well. They're having a party on the plate actually. Deborah, I don't think she could fully commit to this one because she wasn't actually eating the maggots. She's just putting it in her mouth. But you know, Deborah gotta do what she gotta do, you know? I think. She, no, she she doesn't have to do this. Oh! Deborah's pregnant. Congratulations, Deborah. Are you sure the baby should be um, forced to partake in the food types of food you consume? <laughs> the baby is going to have a really diverse palate when he or she is born. Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I feel sick. Give it up, ah! Why? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, show us. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Are you supposed to eat mango with the skin? Mango is my favorite fruit and I usually don't eat it with the skin. There are some situations where people can eat certain things. Like I've seen people eat the um, greenery of a strawberry and I didn't think that was a part you could eat. Some people eat it. Uh, but I did, I don't really know. Deborah kind of scares me. <laughs> One thing I'd like, I appreciate about Deborah. after almost every bite, she shows us the bite. I don't know if she's offering us some or she just wants to show us the bite in, in the food. I really don't know what goes on in Deborah's head. <laughs> Why is, you know, these type of videos are supposed to be like relaxing. The sounds, the ASMR. But I'm like stressed. I'm beyond stressed. Like watching her pro. Let's just continue. Ooh, that actually kind of looks good. What is that, a frozen popsicle? She put an entire tomato in her mouth. <laughs> okay, okay, Deborah. And she finishes it off with a crisp, ice cold Coca Cola. That's Deborah. Deborah, we talk about the mango skin. Stop eating it now. <laughs> Someone just said, "Damn." <laughs> Deborah, are you okay? Good question. Whoa! I heard that in the depths of my soul. Deborah, get out of my face. I'm done with this. I feel like Deborah is like the perfect name. Like Deborah, why? Deborah, Deborah, are you okay? Deborah? Deborah. Deborah, do you need help? Deborah.
I want to mention that some of the meals that we will see in this video may be delicacies from other countries. I am in no way trying to offend or trying to make fun of anyone's culture or anyone's cultural food. Nor do I want you guys to use this video as an outlet to be disrespectful in the comments or make jokes or make fun of someone's cultural foods. I'm more so trying to highlight the unserious and grandiose nature of all of these mukbangs. Because let's be honest, some of these videos, a lot of these people make the videos for shock value or just to give views. You know, kind of like what I'm doing, you know. I'm just I'm being honest here. Because I'm like a hundred percent sure if anyone was at a restaurant in any part of the world manhandling an octopus people would be staring this specific creator is named Suyong. Forgive me, I'm, I'm pronouncing her name wrong. But I've seen a couple videos of hers in the past. And she is literally, like literally fighting with her food. Like WWE style fighting with her food. There are compilations of this woman on the floor fighting with different types of creatures that she's about to consume. <laughs> and she's just screaming for her life. <laughs> You know, mukbangers, they could show up on camera with the food prepped and pretty and ready to go. But Young is different. She wants y'all to feel through the video. She wants y'all to feel the pain and labor she's experienced. So that when she does consume the meal, it's a lot more enjoyable for both of you guys. And we all know that it's obviously for like shock value and clicks because she constantly does it. She constantly buys the animal, brings it to her home, lets it out of whatever container it is, and then wrestles with it a little bit WWE style for the camera. And then in the next clip is just her consuming the food. <laughs> She's obviously not that scared of the animals if she keeps doing it. Or maybe she is. I don't know. I don't know her life. I don't know what Sue Young wants to be. <laughs> but all I know is Girly Pop is selling it. <laughs> She's really selling the fear. I can feel it when I watch some of her clips. <laughs> it adds like about three years to my life. I also found this TikToker named Candy Superstar who eats some very uncommon foods. Well, at least uncommon to me. Like pig ear. I didn't even know you could eat the ear of a pig. I mean, well, when you think about it, we already, well, some of us already eat, like, different parts of an animal, so we might as well try the ear, I guess. I, I don't know. And she even eats a dinosaur bone. Mm -hmm. sure if it's a dinosaur bone I lied it's just a really large bone I'm not sure what the animal is but I could say it's a dinosaur bone and I'm pretty sure you believe me from the beginning actually you probably didn't because I'm sure if it was a dinosaur bone it would look a lot more dusty and old and probably not in her possession thing is I feel like I've heard of people eating what is this bone marrow I don't know I feel like I've heard of people eating it and the people who know how to prep it it looks good I don't think I would eat it but it looks it, 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 I hope this video doesn't suggest that I don't like mukbang videos. I do. I actually have a few that I personally like to watch if you wanted to know. I really like the, I think it's pronounced Kohakuto. 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 <laughs> Kohakuto. You know, actually, let me just like, let me just list, like, get to know me, get, get to know me, get to know Doris. A few things that I do like personally watching, I like watching eat the Kohakuto candy. I like fondant, rice krispies, sea grapes. I've heard that they don't taste that good, but I, oh. <laughs> My mouth is watering thinking about it. It's just the crunch. The crunch is delightful. I also like ice and I like um frozen cornstarch. Stop it! People think I'm weird for, for liking people eating cornstarch, but I don't care. 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 I'm here. Wanna be on Zap? Okay, so if you think I'm weird for liking cornstarch videos, I don't care. Arrest me. Do it. Send me to prison. I just thought I'd share that just in case there is anyone out there who could relate to me. You know, just, just know that you have a friend <laughs> amongst all the hate. You know what I like to eat? Hello, fresh. Wait, that's my lot. And that's why today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Bone apple teeth. 
If you're anything like me, sometimes amongst all of this chaos, you just want to sit down and have a wholesome homemade meal. But there's just never enough time. With HelloFresh, all you need is 15 minutes and you will be enjoying a tasty, delicious, delectable <laughs> meal in your own kitchen. You are your own chef. Who knows you better than you? I personally really like HelloFresh's quick and easy dinner options. They also have quick breakfast and lunches, which I did not know about. So that's on, next on my list. Today I made their Parmesan chive chicken and potatoes and it literally just took me 15 minutes to make. Everything was already individually packaged for me. All I had to do was pop some stuff open, pop some stuff on the stove, and then now I'm popping stuff into my mouth. When life gets a little too busy, you don't have to wait for delivery anymore. Fresh. It's 25% cheaper than takeout and it's less expensive than grocery shopping. So that means you can now confidently start your New Year's resolution to eat more home cooked meals. But it's August. <laughs> Fall is right around the corner, and like the superheroes that they are, HelloFresh is here to help plan for the busy season ahead with tasty, delicious deliveries right to your door. Simply choose your recipes, pick your delivery day, then lay back and enjoy the rest of the summer knowing that dinner is covered. I also recently found out that you can add snacks, sides, and a lot more to your weekly HelloFresh order. Just shop HelloFresh Market and take your pick from a curated selection of over 100 add-on items. So if you want to get your hands on a good deal, go to HelloFresh.com and type in 50 door sexy at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh.com. 50 door sexy, 50% off plus free shipping at checkout. You're welcome. You heard it here first. Thanks again HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and allowing me to have the delicious tasty meals that I will be consuming for the rest of the week. But now, on to the rest of the video. Something that I actually like about mukbangs is it's not always about eating the really uncommon or exotic foods. Sometimes it's literally just the personality of the mukbanger themselves. <laughs> So we have Miss Benson who likes to scream over on Tiki Talk. Honestly, same. Sometimes you know the food is just gonna be so good that you have to let out a nice grueling yelp. Before the feasting begins. Oh my gosh, and the screaming just doesn't even sound human. Yeah, Green apple? Oh, that's my favorite flavor, if you guys didn't know. When she's drinking, looks really, like, delicious. I'm also just realizing that she screamed and then shushed us immediately after, like, <laughs> Ma'am, no one else is yelling but you. This is a lot for my heart. I'm gonna assume those are like tapioca pearls. Because they're like soft, you can't really hear it. So she's trying her hardest to make as much noise as possible. So like, you know, she could keep us on the video. Cause you know, when people are, with, when mukbangers, mukbangers, when mukbangers, with mukbangers, when mukbangers are eating, they make a lot of like sounds like all of that because it's for like, I guess the ASMR people enjoy that. I personally am not a huge fan of all of the lip smacking or even the whispering. The whispering makes me uncomfortable. But I think maybe she's just trying to overcompensate for something, you know? I don't, I don't really know. The screaming is like a little <laughs> excessive to me. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Just a little excessive. <laughs> I'm a bird, I'm a good bird, good. I'm very stupid, but I'm very happy. Oh, goals. She knows what she is, but at least she's happy. Not a lot of you can say that. And you're out here judging her. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> These little bird things are like her most viewed videos. And I understand why. Like the bird cups are really cute. Like don't be surprised. In the next week or so, you're, you're going to see me with one of those bird glasses. And I'm going to just see me sipping on my water. I feel like it would just be fun to drink things out of. how like she starts it off whispering and then she just has to burst your eardrums with the laugh just just to make sure you're awake <laughs> you imagine you're trying to play her videos to sleep right you hear like the little whispering the slurping sounds and all of a sudden you hear 
in some way, she kind of reminds me of like Young because you know Young she wants us to go along with her on the journey of making friends with the food before she eats it, and you know, little tussling. But Benson, she wants us to experience the joy and how happy she is while drinking her drinks. And I, you know, I'm glad that they're both taking us along for the ride. <laughs> Almost like how I'm taking you guys along for the ride with a lot of these videos and a lot of the videos that I react to on this channel. So in a sense, we are the same. <laughs> She doesn't only do mukbang videos, she also does this. the whole thing like I watched it I watched the entire thing and I knew it wasn't gonna be anything serious I just just stayed out of curiosity stuff here <laughs> what's happening what's happening what's happening what is going on I, I actually have no commentary for this, so I don't know what to say. She got scared over the gift. So you guys know when I said I like ice, I like ice of any type. Preferably like soft ice, but I also like this. <laughs> you know that water was cold. Did you see the way she jumped? <laughs> Bless her heart, bro. Is she gonna eat all those eggs? There goes the bird glass. <gasps> oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't. I don't like raw eggs. I don't. I am. I said I was a crunchy girl. That means soft, slimy stuff grosses me out. I actually recently got into sushi. Love sushi. Love her. She's a queen. I actually also recently got into eggs into my ramen. Not gonna lie, but I have to make sure like it's extra fried. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm a big texture person. I barely even like jello. It's just not for me. I'm gonna play the rest of this video. I won't be happy about it, but I'm gonna play the rest of it so you guys can watch. Oh my gosh, raw eggs. Why? Oh, I just feel like I would throw up with the texture. Three, four, five. Oh, I'm getting queasy. <laughs> I, I feel like you guys think I'm joking, but it's actually kind of making me queasy. I think I'm just imagining the yolk sliding down my throat. Shh, please don't slurp the rest of it! I don't even want to watch. I'm not opening my eyes. Tell me when it's over. I still hear her slurping! Listen to how heavy she's breathing. Is she still slurping? Tell me the video started over and... Oh, she's still slurping. Oh, she just finished. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for you guys on this beautifully warm and delicious August night. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and comment your favorite part. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media that will be on the screen and it would also be down below in the description, girl. Yeah. Check it, it's there. Check it right now. What does it say? That's what I thought. I think you should subscribe now if you want to become a citizen because if you subscribe, you will get your citizenship card and you will no longer be a tourist, so. Oh, I forgot to say, we reached 500K. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I completely forgot. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I made a community post. Thank you guys going into detail about how I was feeling. It's been surreal. Like I'm still in shock that I I reached this milestone. Cause 500,000 is crazy. Can you actually imagine 500,000 people in like one room? That's a lot of people in one room. They will be literally like stacked on top of each other. We can't even fit into one room. So I'm just very grateful and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for giving me a chance and subscribing and coming back every week to watch a video of mine. I love you to the moon and back, baby girls and boys. Yeah, I said it. Anyways, yeah. Subscribe now to become a citizen and receive your citizenship card and you can start joining the weekly pep rallies. Mm -hmm. They're fun. People throw hot dogs at the in the audience and you might get a free hot dog. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching. This has been your girl Doris and I'll catch you guys next video. See ya. Hello, Doris?
This is gonna happen to you if you don't subscribe in the next two seconds. This is so weird.